Welcome to the new episode of UDK. How are you today? Hope you are doing great. On this episode, we want to show you the main international airport in Tehran, Iran. Imam Khomeini International Airport, located 60 kilometers southwest of Tehran. Construction of the airport began prior to the 1979 Iranian Revolution. The original designers were Tippett's Abbott MacArthur Stratton, an American engineering and architectural consulting partnership. Following the Iranian Revolution, however, the project was abandoned until the government of Iran decided to design and build the airport using local expertise. The original opening of the airport was scheduled for the 11th of February 2004, until it's finally opened on the 13th of May 2004 for the first phase. The official full operation was as of the 28th of October 2007 at midnight. All international flights were transferred to the Imam Khomeini International Airport, and the IKA became Tehran's primary international airport. Imam Khomeini Airport City Company has the ambition for the airport to become a major hub in the region and to develop the first airport city in the country. In February 2016, its development contract had been awarded to the Dutch engineering firm Netherlands Airport Consultants, a subsidiary of Royal Haskening DHV. However in 2017, Narco withdrew from the contract after its failure to obtain financing due in part to US sanctions against Iran. In October 2015, French corporation Accor Hotels opened its Novotel and Ibis-branded hotels on the airport premises, marking the entry of the first international hotel chain into the Iranian market since the 1979 revolution. The two hotels are connected to Terminal 1 by a sky bridge passing through the airport metro station. Majority traffic came from between Tehran and Istanbul, which served by more than five airlines. At current period only Emirates, Qatar Airways, Pegasus and Turkish Airlines serve for international connection airlines, other than well-known Iranian airlines like Iran Air and Mahan Air. Many regulation has adjusted during this period, so please always check to it. This video taken in various time, between 2019 to 2021. Flight between Tehran and Istanbul is about 3 hours, Tehran and Doha is about 2 hours same as to Dubai.
There are currently two runways of which only one is operational. A third runway position to the south of the existing runways and passenger terminal is in final stages of construction. Now, let's join me to land into Tehran. At the moment, Iran has stopped issuing tourist visa since 1st August 2020, however the international flights are still operating. To the lastest update, PCR test is required upon arrival in Iran. In fact Iran has policy to waiver of physical stamping on travelers' passport upon entering and leaving the country since August 2018. Prior to your arrival, if you intended to stay more than 30 days, it required to register your mobile phone, should it use Iranian SIM card, otherwise the mobile phone will not be able to use or not able to receive the cellular service in Iran. To access to the airport and vice versa, there are some options like taxi, metro or rental the car. Taxi to the city are using fixed rate for providing service to all parts of Tehran at all hours of the day. It cost between 900,000 Iranian ryal or 3 US dollar to 1,600,000 Iranian ryal or equivalent 6 US dollar. Since has been increasing than before in 2018. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe and comment. See you again on the other episode of UDK.